what's the deal with Jordan Reed? Why hasn't he practiced yet? And will he make the team? The reason I ask is I understand he had a year off and they want to take him along slowly. But Trent Williams had a year off too. He hit the ground running. He's ready to go. Um, <clears throat> Jordan Reed doesn't seem to be injured. I know he has a concussion history, but I don't think he's still in the, he's not in the concussion protocol. He doesn't have a knee injury, an ankle injury. So why all the caution? What's going on? Marco, why don't you start us? It makes no sense why he is not with the team. I mean, if you're coming to camp and you're out of shape and you have to get back into shape when you've been off for a full season, that just shows you shouldn't be on the NFL roster. I mean, I understand Kyle's love for his guys, but Jordan Reed needs to already be with the number as the number two tight end. I mean, he's just letting Ross Dwelly take all these reps, and Ross Dwelly's going to run with the number two position. Mm -hmm. uh, Jordan Reed, for me, is one of those guys that Kyle was banking on having just to run um, – personnel that he could trick people and getting Kittle more stuff. But I do think he was brought in because they didn't feel like they were going to get a contract done and they wanted mm -hmm. to have Kittle play his last season out while having Jordan Reed on the other side, bringing his stats down a little bit while also bringing mm -hmm. George Kittle's value down a bit. I think there might be something to that. It's an interesting theory. Maverick, what do you think? What's going on? Oh, finally, before we go to Maverick, the last part of the question was, will Jordan Reed make this 53 man roster? Yes, he will make the 53 round roster only because Kyle Shanahan loves his guys. If <laughs> that was the case, Tevin Coleman would have already been gone. Fair enough. Maverick. Does IR count as making the roster? Uh, <laughs> no. Say If no. you think he's going on IR, say it. Okay. Well, I mean, I think for what why he's not practicing now, I could totally see it being something as dumb and simple as guys been waiting to get the pads on and there there's always a lot of crazy hits to start preseason and he's been known to get injuries on in contact. And I think maybe just let the guys get their big hits out of the way. But then again, like Marco said, you might not, you probably shouldn't be on a roster if it's that much of a worry that you're going to get hurt. And uh, I, I would go with, he's gonna, if there was a preseason, I think he would suit up uh, week three and four of the preseason, but would have sat out the first two games anyways. So I'm going to go, he'll make the team but I don't think he finishes week eight still on the team. Cool. Oh. I'll go with IR or retirement or something. Okay. Okay. That's definitely a possibility. Yeah, I just think they're just, they're just babying him right now because when you have a guy who has a, a, a count of, of freaking concussions, like, like I don't even know when. It's like endless. You can write a book about it at this point, which kind of sucks about the guy because, you know, I, I I knew they were gonna sign a tight end. I would have gone on Delaney because like, but whatever. It's it's his choice. It's like Alex Smith. It's his choice. He wants to come back, um, and so that's probably what they're doing, trying to avoid him mm -hmm. from trying to get hit. Because you know we saw Tavon Austin got blown up. Uh, he probably mm -hmm. you know the coaches were immediately like even Robert Sala himself was like, well, my first reaction was, whoa, I did not mm -hmm. like that. You know, and that well he can really enjoy it. So what if that was Jordan Reed? Then boom, now he's gone. He's done again. So they're probably more they're definitely more invested in the players and this player especially so it'd be interesting to see in the coming weeks when they take the pads off again if all of a sudden you see him on so that would be a great indicator of that okay they definitely were trying to avoid him but uh at, at some point that it, it, we're then we're really just going to be paranoid we're going to be paranoid regardless once he comes out in the season if, if he does make the roster I, I i do think he's going to make it because i see no way charlie warner is going to be the third tight end after seeing him and I think Reed, they want more of the receiving tight end instead. So he'll make it. And I just think they're just, they're just really taking being cautious with him. Yeah, he'll make it. Look what just happened with Jalen Hurd. That just happened with Jalen Hurd. There's no way they're going to say, okay, let's get Jordan Reed to the field now. Once they take pads off, then yeah, we'll probably see him. But as long yep. as the pads are on right now, before the season even starts, we're about 24 days away, we're not going to see him. He'll make it. Though. Okay. Okay. Um, here's the way I look at it. Like, I, I think you guys are all right. I think the Niners just want to get him to the regular season in one piece. I, I think they're feeling like if he's one hit away from retirement, better for that hit to happen in a real game than in mid August in training camp. But now that I'm at training camp and I'm watching Ross Dwelly, I mean, he had a big day today. They, he was involved in the offense after practice. The, the team made him available to the media. They don't make players available to the media that they're going to cut in two, in two weeks. That's a pretty good indicator that they like him and that he's going to be there. I mean, he's been the number two tight end all throughout camp. So how does Jordan Reed take that job from Ross Dwelly without practicing at all? Or, like, and are they really prepared to cut a draft pick, a six-round draft pick in Charlie Warner, 
for a guy who could be one hit away from retirement. So I, I'm going to try to, I'm going to weasel my answer here. I think he's going to make the team, but I have a feeling it's not going to be the 53 man roster. Remember this year, one vet can go on the practice squad. And if they put him through waivers, no one's going to pick up Jordan Reed. He's nah. not practicing. There's no preseason. He hasn't shown anything. He's been around. Teams could have picked him up uh, all off season and didn't. That might be what they do. 